friends and professional colleagues in this video today i am going to discuss about the nfra bars x deloitte ceo for 7 years and slapped rupees 25 lakh fine for his role in il and fs or fraud or during the audit udayanson ex ceo of uh, deloitte is debarred from the for the period of 7 years for being appointed as an auditor or an internal auditor or undertaking any audit in respect of any any financial statements or internal audit of the functions and activities of any company or body corporate nfra said in a statement or uh, today that is 22nd july 2020 the nfra and aud the audit regulator has debarred udayanson for 7 years and slapped a penalty of rupees 25 lakhs for his role in the audit of fraud hit ILL, il and fs financial services limited ifin sen a former ceo of deloitte india was the main engagement partner for deloitte askins and sales it was the auditor of ifr ifin udayanson is debarred from the period of 7 years from being appointed as an auditor or internal auditor in the report nfra said that it has already given substantial time to sen to file its reply sen had filed a writ petition in delhi high court after after nfra issued a show cause notice in january 2020 in the writ petition sen said that nfra was not even formed when the audit of the ifin was conducted he goes on to argue that any penalty on him would be retrospective because a regulator and a regulation formed afterwards does not have a jurisdiction over an event that occurred earlier in his writ petition sen has also submitted he did not have a benefit of insight while auditing ifin and that certain position that he and his team took was based on the situations that were present when they were auditing ifi ifin nfra nfra order also mentioned that it is not applicable till july 31st 2020 when the next date of delhi high court hearing is going to come nfra in the order said that professional misconduct becomes very serious when ca when a chartered accountant has gone along with the management of the company in agreeing to misstatements omissions so as to commit a fraud on the users of financial statements nfra all has already made its report on ifin audit of deloitte haskins and sales public the regulator is in its report has said that deloitte haskins and sales which audited the books of il and fs financial services limited had failed to comply with the relevant accounting standards the nfra report however has not mentioned any penalty against deloitte deloitte haskins and sales was the principal auditor for il and fs till 2016 and 17 and was replaced by srbc and company and ua affiliated firm for the next two fiscal years for itnl deloitte haskins and sales was the sole auditor in 2015 and joint auditor along with S srbc and co in 2016-17 from 2017 to 2019 srbc took over as the sole auditor for ifin deloitte was the sole auditor till 2016 and 17 joint auditor along with bsr and company for 2017-18 bsr took over as the sole auditor of the company from the year 2018 and 19 as a professional accounting firm we are surprised and concerned that nfra nfra has chosen to issue and may make public an order against a former partner of the firm in spite of the questions of its jurisdiction being subjudice and awaiting adjudication and disposal by the honorable high court yeah delight spokesman said friends if you like this video please like it share it and also i request you to please subscribe my channel so that whenever you see a new video on any subject it will come to you directly thanking you once again rv shagar practicing company secretary